fact there's so much news, we've got to handle it in another installment of Ain't Nobody Got Time For That. <laughs> All right, let's get straight into it. Remember how Donald Trump and Ivanka promised they wouldn't turn the White House into a mom-and-pop store? Yeah? No nepotism? Remember that? Well, clearly, they don't. Breaking news, the first daughter, Ivanka Trump, taking on a new official role in the White House. His daughter, Ivanka, getting a new title, assistant to the president, an official, though unpaid, government employee. The move coming in spite of Ivanka's assertion last year that she wouldn't be joining her father's team. People think that you're going to be part of the administration, Ivanka. I'm, no, I'm going to be a daughter. And a liar. <laughs> I mean, look, we all knew, we all knew that Donald couldn't stand to be apart from Ivanka, you know, and in his four-year term, he was eventually gonna find some way to bring her in, but, but two months? I'm shocked that, like, two months in, this guy has the patience of a toddler. <laughs> like, a smart man would go for the long con. You know, Trump is the guy standing outside the jewelry store going, and now we wait till the guards go home, <laughs> and then we'll... Screw it, let's go in now! Ah, ah! And by the way, this story comes on top of the news that Eric Trump, the least <laughs> of the Trumps, admitted, <laughs> admitted in Forbes that contrary to what he said, his dad would still be running the businesses. That's what he told us. Yeah. He was like, remember how back in late February I said I wouldn't involve my dad in our businesses? Well, now I'm going to report to him sometimes all the time. <laughs> now, on any other day, this glaring new evidence of the president blatantly putting family over ethics would dominate our time. But then you turn the page and you're like, oh, world news. Breaking news we're following out of South Korea. The ousted president, Park Yun hye has been arrested. It is the latest in a corruption scandal which saw Park removed from office earlier this month. Park is accused of bribery and abuse of power, letting her close friend extort millions of dollars from companies, including Samsung. Wow. A president impeached, removed from office, and thrown in jail. Imagine that. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Let's all close our eyes and imagine that. Mm. The story of South Korea's president being arrested isn't just big news there, it also affects America. You see, the US has stationed thousands of troops in South Korea just in case North Korea baby man has too much boom boom juice. <laughs> But now, with South Korea's president in jail, no one knows if her replacement is gonna be friendly to the U.S. But let's be honest, who has time for the world when America's own baby man is declaring war back at home? Now, today, President Trump turned to Twitter to threaten some members of his own party. Here it is. The Freedom Caucus will hurt the entire Republican agenda if they don't get on the team and fast. We must fight them. Members of the caucus are not simply taking it on the chin. Far from it. The Michigan Republican, Justin Amash, Tweeting today, it didn't take long for the swamp to drain Donald Trump. No shame, Mr. President. Almost everyone succumbs to the D.C. establishment. Now, now, first of all, that was a good burn. Secondly, <laughs> this is when you realize how extreme American politics has become. Freedom Caucus guy is accusing Donald Trump, Donald Trump, of being an establishment politician. <laughs> yeah, that's like calling Godzilla a city planner. That is so... <laughs> Extreme. And also, and also, Donald Trump, it's not enough that he's fighting with the Democrats, the FBI, the federal court, and Mexico. Now he's also fighting the Republicans? He's like a political Jackie Chan. That's, that's what he's like. <laughs> he's just slapping everybody. I'm not gonna lie, like, I could spend my whole life enjoying Donald Trump in a Twitter beef with right-wing Republicans, but, but not today, because I've got Carolina on my mind. Lawmakers in North Carolina have reached an agreement to repeal the state's so-called bathroom bill, which required transgender people to use bathrooms that correspond with the gender on their birth certificate. The move comes after college basketball threatened to move more games out of the state in protest. Wow. I knew college basketball was big in America, but big enough to undo transphobia? That's insane. A man turning into a woman, that is sick. But not as sick as that dunk. Am I right? Yeah! 
Honestly, I, I can't believe this is still an issue. North Carolina has become such a disgrace. South Carolina has changed its name to North Georgia. <laughs> and, and while this sounds... While this sounds like great news for equal rights, it's not necessarily the win that it might seem. LGBT activists, some critics, they're not happy. They don't consider this a victory. They argue that the replacement bill still leaves room for discrimination. That House Bill 142, it gives the state the final say regarding multi-stall bathrooms. It also prohibits cities from issuing their own non-discrimination ordinances until 2020. Now, I'm sorry, but this shit is just pure evil. Because not only can North Carolina lawmakers still discriminate, They've made it illegal to block discrimination. That's just evil. So now, the infamous bathroom bill is overturned, but the discrimination remains. Which means, luckily for Tar Heels, they can keep their slogan. Welcome to North Carolina, the most confusing state to poop in. <laughs> hey, everyone. Before you click over to another YouTube uh, contouring tutorial, uh, just a, a reminder, watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com. Now you can go on your way. Remember, it's all about the cheeks. The lines and the cheeks. <laughs>